Hello and welcome to the video. In this video, we're going to look at the mileage tracker for QuickBooks Online. Hello, my name is Aaron Patrick and I'm a Chartered Accountant and UK Certified Trainer. In today's video, we're going to look at the mileage tracker and how it's automated. So as long as you've got the app for QuickBooks downloaded onto your phone, you have the opportunity to set it to automatically track your trips. What that means is all you do is you jump into your car, you drive from one location to the other, and it's automatically going to record that as a potential business trip. Then later down the line, you decide by swiping left or swiping right, is that going to be a business related trip or is that a personal related trip? And it works really, really well. Today, I needed to utilize that feature. So I was jumping in the car, I did one business trip, but at the same time, I did a couple of personal trips. And we're going to see how that's been handled in QuickBooks. We use the mobile app itself to be able to make that work as best as we possibly can. And it means it speed up our process. It makes our life easier going forward. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up my QuickBooks app and use Face ID. And you'll notice that if I go to the hamburger button, I have a mileage option on the bottom left hand corner there. When I go into mileage, I've already turned my auto tracking feature on, but let's see how that was done. Basically, when you have the auto tracking feature on, it tracks your trips with your G phone's GPS, then swipe to sort them as a business or personal. Make sure you got the little green tick to say that the auto tracking is on. And if you are having issues with this, there's also a troubleshooting section just to make sure you've got all your settings correct on your mobile phone to make sure that it's calculating it correctly. Also, you have the opportunity to create mileage rules. What the rules is going to do means every time you do a particular trip, you're going to be able to set exactly how it is. So for me, I might want to say that when I go from my home, so now I've set it that when I go from work to home, it's now going to make sure that every time it does that, I will be able to treat it as a business. So this is. Okay, so that's how you can make sure your rules are set up on there. Once you have got your rules and you've got it going forward and you've got your auto tracking on, then all you actually have to do at that point is get in your vehicle and drive. You don't need to set it as recording. You don't need to make sure in any way that it's actually going through. All you literally need to do at that point is to be able to go and drive. And when you come back, you then have the opportunity, like we've got on screen now, in terms of saying if it's a business or personal. And all you do is you swipe right or swipe left for business or personal. Now what it's done here, and this is today's recording for me, and it's gone through and it's looked at all these different trips that I made in and around my work. Now some of these are work related, some of these are business related. Now we're gonna see what it looks like from the browser experience. So from here you'll notice you have the opportunity to go through and see pretty similar to what we saw on our mobile app. But in this case, we're going to see what it looks like from the browser. So this is actually the information recorded from the Android device. And you can see that it's got all these three items that we need now need to categorize. And all I do is I click on the item itself. It's going to give, give me a bit more information of what of that trip was. And I can put a description to it and make it personal or business. Add a vehicle if I need to. Press save. Put it as business. Put a description, so I'm going to say business meeting, press save, and there we are. That's recorded that transaction for me, so that one's business. If I say this one's personal, I don't need to put all that information in, I press save. And again, I can go and say this one is a business one. And it started to record the mileage for me, and then that mileage can then be dealt with. So one thing to note is it hasn't actually put a posting into QuickBooks. All it's done is recorded that mileage. You're still going to have to put in a journal entry or something like that to be able to record it. So there we have it, a real quick look at the mileage tracker. A really useful feature, it doesn't matter if you're on iOS or Android, they both seem to be quite similar in terms of accuracy, but what it's gonna do is gonna make it automate your mileage tracking going forward. Now, just bear in mind that all you get from that is almost like a report at the end to say how much mileage you've done. You're still gonna have to export that, get it into some sort of journal and post it onto QuickBooks but at least it's all being contained, at least it's all going from there. There's one more limitation at the moment as well. It's only currently usable from a admin of the company. So the company admin, master admin, are the only people currently can use the mileage add-in. 
we are looking or that will get fixed soon and we're going to see that going to be opened up to more people in the not too distant future my name's aaron don't forget to like and share and subscribe to the channel hope to join you in the next video bye for now